Zach Cafe to YouTube and let us make this gorgeous mushroom and broccoli stir fry. ingredient breakdown we have our mushrooms I'm using some closed cap mushrooms that I already chopped up over here I have my nicely washed tender stem broccoli I have some spring onions for garnish we have some butter some garlic our oil over here I have some chili peppers here I have some all-purpose seasoning salt and black pepper and here I have my soy sauce and oyster sauce mix so let's get started on this gorgeous mushroom and broccoli stir fry so to my pot i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of oil first thing that we're gonna do we're going to saute in our mushrooms okay beautiful now as you know mushrooms don't take very long to cook and what i did i actually just cut the mushrooms in half simply because I don't really want it to be too small and I don't want it to go down too, too small, okay? So once that is in, we want to go in with a little bit of butter in there as well, okay? So once my mushroom has been going for at least a minute or two, okay, because you don't really want this to get soggy or anything like that, we're just gonna go ahead and add in our garlic, okay? Get some good flavor going on in there. I'm also just gonna add in my chili peppers, leaving a few for garnishing, of course. Just a little bit of this. Beautiful. Mix it well. Then we're going in with our broccoli, nicely washed broccoli. And then you want to season lightly with the salt, black pepper, and all-purpose seasoning. And guys, this just smells so amazing. Like, it really smells amazing. You want to keep your heat on a medium high while you cook this because you don't want it to get soggy or anything like that okay that's very very important last but not least i've got my sauce which is my soy sauce mixed with oyster sauce and you just want to mix that in make sure to combine it fully okay before pouring it in here like so look at that my loves oh my goodness and then you just want to mix it up look at that my loves delicious okay now you just want to allow that to cook down for at least a minute more okay beautiful See this my loves look at how amazing oh my goodness guys this is looking beautiful now you don't want the broccoli to get too soggy or anything like that so at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off because this is cooked my loves so I've got my plate I've got some rice and we're just going to plate that
So there you have it, my darlings, all done. Oh my goodness, that looks so amazing. I know a lot of you always ask me, Terry Ann, can you make any vegan dishes? Yes, my darling, this one is for you. So I really hope you enjoy this recipe. If you try it at all, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Terry Ann's Kitchen. It is a pleasure having you here and I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.